This is part two of homework 90. We're going over first the integer work here. We have uh, all four types of integer problems, multiplication, addition, multiplication, addition, subtraction, division, subtraction. Uh, this is extremely important because this skill is the basis of most things that happens in algebra. Multiplication, you just do like normal multiplication. 2 times 5 gives you 10. And then you have to decide on the sign. A negative times a negative gives you a positive. With addition, however, or subtraction, the first thing we have to do is rewrite it. If you see here, we have two signs. We have a positive and a negative. So it's 4 plus a negative 9. Positive and a negative reduced to a negative. So this is rewritten as positive 4 minus 9. The signs are different, so we subtract. 9 minus 4 gives us 5. We take the sign of the bigger one, 5. If the signs had been the same after we reduced it, we would have added. Always take the sign of the bigger one. That's when you're adding or subtracting. Again, multiplying. 9 times 2 is 18. A negative times a positive is a negative. Again, here is addition. We have a positive sign and a negative sign on this 5. A positive negative reduced to a negative. So you have negative 3, negative 5. The signs are the same. So you add 3 plus 5 is 8. You keep the sign of the bigger one, which is negative. So it's negative 8. 1 minus 10. Uh, a lot of people get tricked here and put 9, but it's 1 and take away 10. If you only have 1 and you take away 10, that's negative 9. The way we look at it in uh, algebra is you have a positive 1, a negative 10. The signs are different, so you subtract. 10 minus 1 is 9. We take the sign of the bigger one, it's a negative 10, so it's negative 9. 22 divided by negative 2 is negative 11. 22 divided by 2 is 11. Positive divided by a negative is a negative. Lastly, now you have two negatives. This is a subtraction. But two negatives reduces to a positive. So this is 5 plus 5, which is 10.